What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome the uh, the new subscribers. Got a few new subscribers. What's up, guys? Glad you uh, glad you can make it. Um, sorry, I haven't posted anything in about a week or so. I've been a little under the weather. I actually uh, was sick and then got a little better. <laughs> and two days later, my children got sick, which got me sick again. So I am kind of battling that right now. And I figured, well, you know what? I got a few new people. Um, don't want them to think that I'm just ghosting my uh, <laughs> my channel because I haven't been posting. So let's get to it. I wanted to talk today about this uh, little toolkit that I carry in my EDC bag. I haven't talked too much about uh, my EDC gear on uh, this channel, which is uh, kind of weird considering it's called Northwest EDC. Uh, and I chose that name, so you'd think I'd talk about EDC stuff, which is... I gotta assume you know, but that would be dumb for me to do so. So EDC is everyday carry. It's things that you just find that you use every day. Now there's a big, huge base or following of people who love EDC as a hobby. I'm one of those people, but as of any other hobby, it ranges uh, from you know things that you just actually use every day to things that are collector's items that you could use every day but are extremely expensive and would completely work but usually just end up in instagram photos and you know only being used when uh you know they're doing something nice on their youtube channel or something like that which is completely understandable i don't i can't fathom using a two or three hundred dollar uh, the screwdriver bit as just a, a tool, you know, and, and knowing that the reason it costs that much is because of the precious materials that it's made from, or, you know, the fact that it was precision machined with, to a very high quality made with super steels or whatever it could be. But so, I mean, you know, just like anything else, it, 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 there's a huge, huge just world of EDC. Um, and it's actually exploded in the last probably three years I'd say probably since COVID um it seems like something like this has really taken off um so yeah I've got some things that I you know I have a lot of what they call quote-unquote pocket trash just stuff that you kind of fidget with in your pocket you know they, they could be challenge coins or whatever or little clicky things I think I showed a few of my um excuse me, my little uh clicky wheels on uh, my last video but <clears throat> anyways they my point is is that it's a huge world and there's a lot of different things to choose from and this is what I have found that I actually use. So everything in this bag I actually uh, use and um, have found that they have been the most useful. There's been a lot of these that have come and gone, you know, things that I put in here and then six months later I'm like, well, I've not even pulled this thing out. I don't know when I'd ever use it and it's gone. And so we'll kind of go over a couple things that I had in here that seem to be pretty popular but personally I just couldn't find a use for them um, and then uh, yeah well just uh, let's get to it so first off this is the max Pedition. Uh, it's called the fatty so this is the fatty EDC bag or EDC tool bag or whatever but if you just look up max Pedition fatty on a website like Blue Creek knives I think carries them maybe White Mountain knives I'm not sure but you can just go on any you know website and like that any type of EDC website and find these uh, this is just a sticker that I got from Etsy I thought it was pretty funny I uh, I've done some uh, mechanic videos on YouTube and so it's, it's kind of fitting <laughs> um, it's about as certified as I get when it comes to mechanics so anyways if you open this guy up <clears throat> this is my toolkit so these are the things that I found that I use just about every day um, if not at least weekly it seems there's always something uh, that I'm kind of reaching in here for uh, I do a lot of work out in uh, on job sites I am in like the construction industry uh, I draw up floor plans and then you know go out to construction sites and and you know inspect you know f do frame walks uh, inspect properties things like that and I find myself needing you know tape measures and screwdrivers and markers and pens and knives and all kinds of things out there and not only that, but I'm also a dad. I've got two kids. I got a three and a half year old, and then I have an eight month old. And they are constantly, you know, needing band aids and bandages and diapers and wipes. And, you know, batteries need to be changed in toys. And they got tiny little precision screws on the back that hold them shut. And, you know, there's just all kinds of little things. So let's go over kind of the things that I've 
kind of used recently. Um, so let's just, yeah, actually, you know what? I take that back. Let's start from just left to right. Let's just do it that way. So this is the Leatherman uh, little ratchet for, I think it's called the Leatherman Wave. And so it's just a little adap uh, ratchet adapter for a quarter inch bit, which go which is what this is. This is a titanium quarter inch bit from Countycom. I'll plug this guy into this. Now I've got this ratchet, so I can just ratchet, or I can you know, click this and then go the other way, of course, or in the middle, and then you can see the dots right there. Left, middle, right. Uh, yeah, this is a nice little thing. It's pretty pricey, but I've noticed that if you just kind of do some searching, you'll usually find these uh, on sale. Um, this guy is just a little titanium uh, bit from Countycom, like I said earlier, but it these things can be very expensive on some websites, but the Countycom website, I, I thought I had one of their cards, but I can't find it. It's, it's Countycom with two M's, countycom.com, I think, or something like that, but if you just Google it, you can find it. But anyways, this is like 20 bucks, 30 bucks, and it's made out of titanium, uh, and it's got this like, you know, pivot. It spins well enough, you know, I mean, it, it works I've used it a lot and it, it works great. And when you buy that, you get this guy, but it's all the black ones. Um, I've, I've taken one out or I've lost it, who knows. But I took out the, uh, the, the, the black oxide coated, sorry, the black oxide coated ones here. I've taken, taken the three out that I use on my, on my knives and I put in Wea ones. So it's just little Wea bits. Um, but yeah, I just, kept all the rest of the other ones because it really doesn't matter. They're just kind of more of a pry than, than a flathead screwdriver. Um, and then marker, you know, just when you need a little Sharpie. I use that quite a bit. And in fact, I think this one might be dying a little bit. The last job site I went to, I was marking pretty hard on some wood and uh, I noticed it was getting uh, dull. This is a uh, key unity. This is a little titanium with the, the topo pattern. I think it was pretty neat on it. And it's just a little uh, little razor blade thing. I will admit that I haven't used this thing quite as often as I thought. But the times that I have, I was so glad that I had the bit. I bought the 24 or got the longer blade. I don't know if you know, but these type of razor blades have all different kinds of blades. And they have some that are really small, like X-Acto knives. And then they got bigger edged ones like these. And that's why I got this one. because the edge is so long. So it's really easy to use as a, like an actual knife. I just found it really useful when I've used it the three or four times I've used it while I haven't used this too much it almost takes up no space and it weighs nothing because it's titanium so it's living in here doesn't you know hinder anything this is a little pin that I will admit is not the best and it's not my go-to and the reason I don't like it is because of the length um, I bought it on Wii's website last Christmas it was on sale and I was like, oh, that's cool. And I mean, on sale, like 70% off, like it was like six bucks or something. I was like, okay, sure, I'll get that. And uh, what I thought was you could take it off and put this on the bottom. And I could have swore there was a picture where it was like this. And I was like, oh, okay, so you can take the thing and put it on the end. Yeah, you can't. <laughs> it doesn't go on. So it's just too short for me personally to write with, especially long. Like I couldn't sit in a meeting and write notes with this. This would drive me nuts. Uh, my hands are just a little too big for this pen. But... In an emergency or when I'm out in the field and I need to write some you know just some numbers down or something real quick it works or if somebody says hey do you have a pen I can borrow I'm like yeah here you go and they're like oh that's so cool and then they you know they love it but all right this guy I don't know if you can hear my son yelling in the background but he's learning how to talk or he's learning that he can make noises with his mouth and it's it's regrettable um so this is a small little uh <laughs> little mall ninja gas station uh OTF. Uh, I went, uh, hung out with my uh, buddy Sky and a couple friend, other friends of mine, Stefan and Chris, and we went to a gun range on the one day that it actually snowed. We weren't, no one was expecting it to snow, and it just started dumping snow on the gun range. So after about an hour, we got cold and uh, didn't really know what to do, and we thought, well, we haven't perused a mall in about 20 years. Let's go be those weird guys. So we went to the mall, and when we were there, we found a, a little, uh, little mall ninja store, and they're selling these little things, and I tell you what, this is probably the most reliable OTF I own, as well as extreme, I mean, absolutely the cheapest. Uh, it was 15 bucks, 440 stainless, 
I mean, it doesn't even lie about it, and I love it. That's what I love about it. But I tell you what, I've used this to open up quite a few packages and to break down a few boxes. And other than rolling the edge right... Oh, no, it wasn't rolled. It was just dirty. And then, uh, yeah, it's... it's. I mean, it's sharp. It's sharp. It'll cut. That thing, this thing is... It's, it's, and it's... Look at this. Ready? Do that with a Microtech. This is the knife John Wick should have been using. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. That's stupid. All right. So, uh, yep. Of course, I'm on a job site. I need a tape measure all the time. I always need to know how long or how big a gap is or whatever. And so this is a uh, great. It's uh, just a six foot Milwaukee plastic thing. I mean, you can find real fancy like $50, $60 titanium ones, but <clears throat> whatever. Oh, ha! I love this knife. Uh, so this is the, uh, Rosecraft, uh, Pocket Monster, and it's designed by, uh, by Savannah Swags, there's her signature, Swaggerty, I think is her last name, but anyways, I, this is one of my favorite, like, small carry knives, uh, I just post this on Reddit, and I post it on my, uh, Instagram, and, and yeah, people are like, oh man, I got one of these, and I love them, I love them, blah, blah. These are a great knife. AR RPM9 steel, 2.85 inch blade with a 0.85 inch finger choil, so a nice thick fat boy finger choil so you don't, you know, don't have to worry about, you know, nipping your digits. And then uh, yeah, 2 inch blade, uh, perfect for just, you know, if you got to, you know, cut up some boxes or tear open some packages or whatever, you know, small cutting tasks, this thing will do it. And it's lightweight, or I'm sorry, it's uh, it, it, it's uh, minimal design is what I mean, um, but it, it's not lightweight. That's the thing. It is a little heavy. You can tell inside. This wasn't going to be a knife review, but you could tell inside it's not milled, so it is a little heavy, but it, it's got a front flipper that's so simple. It's like a front flipper on training wheels. It's like if you need, if you want to learn how to use a front flipper safely, honestly, I'd get this bad boy because it's just so easy to use. And Right now on Blue Creek Knives, you can get it for like 40 bucks, Or you could as of a day or two ago. They were doing an anniversary sale. I don't know if they still are. If they aren't, use the code to the point. That's the number two, the point. And you can get 10 or 15% off. Um, they share it all the time on Reddit. It's a super cool company. Go check them out. So yeah, this knife is fun. Fun little 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 flicker. Oh yeah, and I was going to say, if you don't uh, you know, like the front flipper... You can always just use the thumb stud. It's super, super easy to use as well. You can, you could probably, yeah, you can reverse flick it. I'm not very good at reverse flicking. My hands are usually too big. I usually have a finger in the way or something. It's just like a freaking octopus tentacles just dangling around. Anyways, uh, yeah, it's, it's a nice little knife. Moving on. as a titanium comb from County Con. And I know what you're thinking. He bought a titanium comb. Yeah, it was four dollars. I think they sell them all the time for three or four dollars on there. Uh, yeah, uh, pair of pliers. Everybody's seen these. These are like you if you uh, do a YouTube channel and have the EDC in your uh, in your repertoire, then you have to uh, you have to own a pair of Nipix. Um, these are like the I don't know they call them water valve pliers or something like that. I didn't think I, I thought these were gimmicky as hell. I thought I kind of bought into the fad when I got these things. Uh, cause when you feel them, you're like, these are flimsy. Like you're, these feel like they could be destroyed. Like, I feel like I could bend it right now. Like I could just bend this over, but no, it's, they're actually super tough and they get super big. And while they can kind of hurt just because of their size, you know, cause you're getting a real grip, <clears throat> excuse me, you can really get some torque on these guys and they're still precise i mean there's they're they're, they're the little little tiny but the tiniest bit wobbly i don't know if i could show but see uh, i mean tiny bit wobbly on the tip but anyways i've used the heck out of these and they work great this is a knife that just lives in here because <laughs> it was kind of funny i uh i saw this knife on sale about a year ago and it was on i'm talking Deep clearance, like 20, 30 bucks, and I, it's it's 154 cm with a titanium frame. I was like, sweet. What I didn't look at was the specs, <laughs> and of course, you know, all the pictures made it look like a full size knife. As you can tell, it's very much not a not a full size knife. So I think it's called the either the uh, SRM Unicorn or the SRM Rhino. I can't remember which one, but I think it's the Unicorn. This thing is actually pretty nice. It's a nice little knife if you need to open something up. I know my EDC bag has three knives in it and a razor blade. It's ridiculous, but 
I'm a knife guy, I love knives. So that one just kind of lives there. And then I've got a, uh, just a metal straw or an aluminum straw with a little scrub brush, cleaning brush. I've actually used this a few times when I go to job sites and on the way there I stop and you know pick up a you know, fast food meal or something or pick up a drink, get to the site and realize they didn't give me a straw. Man, this thing works great. I love it. So, and yeah, it actually works. Um, yeah, I've used it a few times. It, it's got some gaskets in it that make it seal up and so it doesn't just slide open and shut easily. And it's got a little case and so hey, it's just cool. It's a cool little thing. These are two just, <laughs> I, thought, I thought this was ridiculous. This was one of those uh, impulse buys at like Ace Hardware. I saw a pack of these on sale and I was like, little tiny vice grips? I was like, yeah, sure, why not? And then as soon as I got home and opened them up, I looked at them and I was like, why on earth did I buy these? Why, why would I even purchase uh, vice grips? It, it, what's the, when am I going to use these? Um, holy smokes, I use these all the time. Uh, and it's funny, I don't use them like a, as a vice grip as much as just a clamp. I, I, these are, these are great go-to clamps if I'm out camping or something and I need to clamp something down or if, you know, I need to set, spread something out to change a kid's diaper or something onto a table and I can't, uh, get the uh, pad down or something. I can clamp, I can literally like clamp the sides of the pad. I, this thing is, these things have come in handy as little clamps and, you know, I mean, yeah, they don't weigh much. I mean, it's not, it's not like they're heavy or anything, and they're not super heavy duty, but they get the job done. And then lastly, in this little pocket here, I don't think, yeah, up here I don't have anything. This is kind of a just-in-case. I need to hook something in there. These are reusable zip ties, which are pretty cool. Um, I haven't used them yet, but, I mean, they seem to work really nice. I can... Wow, I mean, that's that's a pretty strong clip. I mean, it slipped a couple times, which I was expecting. I was expecting it to completely fail. So the fact that it held as tight as it did is pretty impressive. Um, I don't know how well they'll... Whoops! <laughs> I just tossed that one behind my desk. I don't know how well they'll work, um, but we'll find out. This was an impulse buy at REI. I was checking out, and they were at the checkout stand for like two or three bucks for the pack. And I was like, all right, fine. And then, let's see, I got two things in here. One, let's go this is the Olight, uh, what, what model is this? The IE3E EOS. It is awesome. So if you don't know about Olight, woo, if you don't know about Olight, they, uh, they, are, they're, they make flashlights, obviously, but they uh, make really good flashlights. And if you sign up for like their newsletter or on their website or something, make an account, uh, they'll do these giveaways, these holiday giveaways where they just all you have to do is have it pay for the shipping to have it shipped to your house and they'll give you a free flashlight and this was the holiday one last year's this was last last christmas's gift and it's awesome <laughs> it's a great flashlight um the only thing that sucks is i forget that i own it so there will be many there's been many a times where i'm like oh no i don't have a flashlight and then like it dawns on me later that i actually did that whole time and then this is just a little screwdriver so <clears throat> Uh, it's a Torx, like a T6 and a T8 it's for knives, made by Civivi, little titanium screwdriver. Um, I just put it in that pocket because it's super tiny. I thought I was going to use it a lot and keep it on my keychain, but I never used it, you know? So the, the only marks that are on it are just from, you know, using it because I was like, I need to use this thing. But yeah, this thing's brand new and I just haven't really used it, but I know it's kind of counter counter into counteractive or, or uh, it's it's against what i said was in this bag <laughs> my brain just froze but um yeah so all that stuff kind of lives in there uh i'll admit that this knife doesn't stay in here um all the time uh i did have it in here i was using it the other day and i just tossed it in here but it's a cool knife worth talking about so we'll set that out here but this is my edc toolkit and zipped up you know I got all those tools in this nice little bag and I carry this bag inside this bag this is my Patagonia stealth uh, fly fishing bag this is my EDC bag my diaper bag tool bag school bag work bag office bag <laughs> every everywhere this is always on my back um, 
and yeah we'll go over this uh, on, on an, in another video we'll go into depth about kind of what i carry i just wanted to kind of break the videos down so i didn't have to feel too rushed going through my stuff so anyways uh this video got way longer than i thought it was going to be but you know we're just going to run it live uh i hope you guys are doing well stay safe out there and i'll talk to you next time